we will jump right now into our county cases as needed this evening and jump both feet in at this time. Jason, I would like to ask you to present uh, text amendment 2015-01, Lowndes County Board of Commissioners. Yes, sir. Um, we have begun to really refer to these as the MAZ amendments because the bulk of the amendments have to do with the media activity zone districts. You know the history of working on these for some time, just a little bit of a deeper history. I mean, both Ms. Braswell and myself have been on staff since the ULDC was adopted uh, almost 10 years ago. And with a part of that came the innovative area that is known as the MAZ. Part of what we're doing here is potential changes to that. We're asking for your recommendation on that. From a historical standpoint, um, we've probably done over 200 amendments to the ULDC since it was adopted within that time span. I will tell you that I consider these MAZ amendments probably the second most important that we've had to consider during that time. With that, we probably have spent more time and received more scrutiny and comments on these slave amendments than we have on any others, even the most important ones, the ones that would consider that. So with that, I think that's for good reason. Moody is a very important economic engine. And it's a very important institution to this community and this nation. So with that, um, we've tried to address concerns over the last few months as we've asked for more time for staff and planning commission comments and activities and moody communication. I can tell you probably the most recent um, events, and you have a copy of this before you, is the chamber giving us their official board comments, which we've given to you in kind of a table format. Out of the 14 groups of amendments, you see um, eight of them either have approval from staff and no objection. Six of them have either some concern from staff or some concern from the chamber. And I'll try to detail those out in front of you in that table to try to help focus the discussion. So with that, we are here for questions or comments. Uh, and we'll try to address those at this time. Um, but otherwise, we've you know, consistently been giving you information since the work session. But most notably was that table we were able to prepare um, due to the chamber's comments today. That's really all I have. To try to entertain any questions or comments that the uh, commissioner. I know each one of you received uh, this new verbiage today. Set out from Jason. I hope each, each and every one of you had the opportunity to look over it. Does anybody have a question for staff concerning this request and this new document that we have this evening? Any commissioner? Any questions for staff? Since there are no questions to staff on this document this evening, I this time would like to uh, go against normal flow and ask Moody representatives if they would like to come forward and also maybe present uh, their thoughts considering where we are on this new verbiage we have today. Mr. Bill, Ms. Pam, or both of you? Both we'll equal of opportunity. <laughs> We had her on the gun last week. She did a great job. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm Bill Bryan. I'm the chief engineer at Moody Air Force Base. Um, community planning falls under, under me for the base. Ann Summers uh, is, uh, is one of my uh, supervisors, and that falls in her area. So we've, we've been intimately involved with the original uh, ULDC. Uh, it was created uh, with many of the amendments and uh, with these and also. I think in general, we're, we're in agreement. Um, I hope that doesn't surprise y'all. Um, there, are, there are a couple uh, of, of items that actually improve in AZ that we're hardly in favor of. Um, Do you mind enumerating those for us, Bill? Um, for item number three, uh, some of your design standards. Um, Item number eight, uh, the issue of, uh, of not having uh, hotels and motels uh, in MAZ2. Uh, those, are, those are improvements from the Air Force. So um, at, at the top, the density issue, um, I, well, you go ahead, Pam. Well, Dan, we had some discussion last week on that. Um, Zion needed clarification, make sure I understood. And that's the one for legal conforming lots that they wanted to put in now and build, but they were under the two and a half acre current requirement. And that um, that would be a different density than the MAZ currently allows. Um, so that would be 
that would be a concern uh, from, from that perspective. Understood though that they do, and I was glad for this clarification that they do still you know, look at what the current zoning is and whether it's in the APC or maybe one, two, three, and apply those standards. So that was that was good to understand that. So I appreciate that clarification. Um, so that was that was our that was our one concern there that that would possibly lead to a somewhat higher density in some areas. But I know there's been some identification of those thoughts. Right. So. I, I would think that that many locations, uh, Jason, you know, I mean, uh, um, you know, by and large, the area of the whole of the disease is not highly developed. Uh, so, uh, the places where there are small lots we don't have a house on, but probably few and relatively far between. <coughs> so, uh, although, you know, just general principles, we, need to, we, we oppose that. I don't think it's a good idea. And which one is that? Mm -hmm. Number one. Number one. Okay. okay. Number, one. Number two, of course, is the noise, where there's been a lot of discussion with the current, the current noise construction standards, noise attenuation construction standards. They're currently in the NAC and the NAC and what to do that would, would make sense. So that, and there's been a lot of proposals. So I just, I guess I'm not sure if that's ready, if we really have to iron that out well enough to, but from Rudy's perspective, from the Air Force's perspective, we need to try and ensure that somehow those noise considerations are presented to the public and that, that that's acted upon um, so that they know and can make informed decisions. So you don't want to present it presented to the public going forward? Is that what you're saying, Ms. Bain? Something in the something remaining in the ULBC because the initial proposal had that coming out completely. So that that would be definitely something that, that would not that we would not do first. I think some of the discussion is like in uh, mobile homes, that it would be uh, particularly in the higher the, the closer the base you that would be very difficult uh, to enforce that. I know from, from being living out in the West Coast that you can buy a new home just like a sick little house, but that kind of defeats the purpose of manufacturing homes for a lot of us. Um, I don't remember the SEC or it was 45 or, or whatever in that area, but that's not difficult. I mean, that's basically standard house construction. Uh, it's, uh, some, some of the, the purposes, windows, and things like that might require. feel it's our, our duty to at least notify people. At other bases I've been at, uh, there's at least a notification process, if nothing else. I mean, if, if, if the county feels that it's not possible to enforce that type of construction, you need to at least tell folks if you're building a house and it's in an eye shot in the Air Force base, it's going to be noisy. And we, we're talking about bring much noisy aircraft in here in some time in the near future. And you know, I, I lived at bases um, where we had lots of, of noisy airplanes and the noise complaints. I mean, it took the staff of three or four folks full time to take care of us. We were not that good. Um, but certainly, at least some type of movement. And that's, been, that's been one of the things that's sort of putting, I'm just not sure if we're really there as far as how to do it. So just, just for clarification, Mr. Field, not to get a sticking point here, but on a state-built application, being a new home, mm -hmm. so, so I mean, most most of the exterior doors are a solid core door. Well, most of them are. And most of them you know. Uh, so it, are, are we saying that possibly the only upgrade might be a, a window design? I'm just, well, just curious. I, I, I'd have to go back and, and, and go through each of the areas, yes, sir. Uh, what what's required. But uh, an SDC of 45 is not far from me. Uh, and, this is, and, it, and it may be 
that's the closest closest to, to Moody, and so that might mean you're not going to have mobile homes, or, or you prefer not to have mobile homes close to the base. And the outer uh, zones are not allowed. I, I, I haven't worked the specifics, the yes. engineering specifics of that, uh, but my, my memory is, is even in the really high noise areas in APZs, the Astro SDC of I know reason I brought that up because I know that we, we've all kicked around some numbers of seven, ten, fifteen thousand dollars where a window upgrade wouldn't even be close to that. Hmm. <laughs> I, I, it, Double pane or triple pane windows. Well, I mean, it's, it's typical double pane windows now, so I don't know if it's got to be some type of gas field or whatever, but I don't, I don't know if it would, it would come close to a number like that. Just, just curious again. I, I can't answer the okay. question. Okay. All right. Anything um, else that you want to look at on these, on these uh, items um, that you have some concern with? I think that's it. Everything else is either. We really have no issue because it's not an in or or um, it's no concern with what happened to that. In fact, Colonel Punkel really appreciates the opportunity to, to uh, comment to this, to, to the board. board. We really appreciate that. We, we appreciate the process y'all have gone through and how, how, how long it's gotten dragged out. Uh, some of that's our fault because I, I mean, this is a community plan. We can't have anybody working for it. Staff uh, well, we appreciate all y'all's efforts. Well, for us. well I'm fixing to ask, but we do appreciate all y'all's efforts working with Jason and the piles downtown to, to come together on some kind of resolution on this. But I will, Commissioner, do we have any questions for Bill or Ms. Payne? I've, I've got kind of a broad question. Sure. I, I know you've had you've got issues with two or three of these, for sure. Uh, the others, the question I would have from my perspective is, do you see any of the others, and I know you put your blessings on, but do you see any of the others through 14 that could potentially cause a problem with any new mission coming to me? Wow. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I mean, I heard the other day that ATNs is at some point, maybe going out, possibly. But, at well, I mean, that is the Air Force position, is the A-10s uh, would go away. Uh, Carlisle is, is set publicly that probably in the next half dozen years is going to be replaced with something. Mm -hmm. uh, the Air Force's position is, right now, is the F-35 is the replacement of the A-10. Uh, so, that, that's public. Nothing that worries me personally. I, I think the other bases I've been at, there have been a lot less protection. In the discussions about black, we just don't know. They, they have just kind of made up the questions that went along. In many, many cases, they decided which bases they were closed and then looked at the numbers and then. Try to make it happen. Try to make it happen. And that, that's exactly what happened in two of the cases from the Air Force Base. And we spent an enormous amount of time refuting. So uh, in that case, for a BRAC scenario, uh, some of the questions were kind of resolved. I mean, there's nothing we, you or I can do about it. things like how many doctors there are for square mile, things like that. Uh, as far as physical construction, um, I think the inclusion of our historic noise uh, information in, in this and in their ACOs is help. I think uh, all the ones that we haven't, that we, that we, that we agreed with or said we don't oppose, um, I think we're going to be And I think this is going to be very helpful to have them broken out by that. Because at first, we're just looking at. And I know I haven't answered your question. 
Um, I'm, I'm glad to have you. I'm close if I can get there. Yeah. <laughs> What's the difference that in what you agree with and you don't have any opposition? That's kind of got me. Well, some of them are just, we don't have any dog in them. Like I said, one or two of these aren't even in the disease. Okay. So we don't, we don't really care. All right. That's so we don't oppose those. Some of these are actually positive. They're, yeah, they're I can see some of them. We're proponents of them. So that's the difference. Okay. Yeah, but I appreciate you saying it. it makes it easier for you because with your knowledge and it makes it easier for you just to imagine how much easier it makes for us sitting up here. I'll, I'll go ahead and tell you that. Any other questions for the Moody presenters? Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. We'll stick around. Please do. Is before I ask for folks to come forward and do that. Any, any discussion amongst ourselves on this as we sit here presently? It being none, at this time I will ask for anybody wishing to speak in favor of this request to come forward at this time. Anyone wishing to speak in favor of this request, please come forward. There being none, anyone wishing to speak against this request, please come forward against this time. Please state your name and address for the record, please, sir. So Mr. Chairman and members of the Commission, my name is Ron Borders. I live at 1718 William Street here in Valdosta. I'm here tonight uh, as the uh, Chairman of the Board of Directors for the Valdosta Lounge Chamber of Commerce. I'd like to thank the planning staff and the Commission and the County Commissioners for taking the time for us to get to where we are tonight. Everyone has got a lot of work in this uh, project and everyone has been very cooperative thus far. You have, as Jason gave you, this piece of paper that says the position of the Chamber of Commerce on these particular items. I don't want to belabor these in the interest of time, but I do want to expand on number one and number two. The Chamber's position to oppose a number one is based on us not knowing what could possibly be already planted on the reference lots. There could be lots out there that have a recorded subdivision that we don't know about. If we knew what was on every lot out there, currently platted or not platted, we wouldn't have any objection. But we have to oppose it right now of the format that it's in. We just can't take the chance that there is a subdivision that's been recorded and may have 50 or 100 lots, 100, the possibility of building 100 houses out there. We just can't take that chance. So that's the reason that we're opposing number one. Number two, we're opposing that because we do believe that the A-10 will eventually go and we do believe it will be replaced by the F-35. We also believe that the F-35 is a noise airplane, about it has a noise signature equivalent to the F-4. For that reason, what we are asking is that in you add in the proposal that the existing language be left, that the existing language be enforced, and that the historical noise contour be added to that amendment as a reference so there would be no ambiguity as to what we meant as far as the noise exception area. That's pretty much the Chamber's position. If anyone's got any questions, I'll be happy to answer. What was it you wanted to add to it? The just uh, language. In number language. two, that language number two, that the existing ordinance be enforced, and that the noise contour, the historical noise contour, be added as a reference. It's a it's a visual plate that can be added. To. So so one and two on the on the uh, the schedule that Jason's prepared for us tonight is is is, 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 is you, those two is the chamber is is, is opposing those two. Yeah, then, of, then, of the 14 items. Yeah, and then number four, there's some smaller items in number four there. Okay, I see that. But for the most part, we don't have any objection, and uh, I, a lot of this has come about because of your help, the help of the county commissioners and the staff, of course, have done a real good job working with us. Any questions for Mr. Borders? Any questions at all? Thank you, Mr. Board. Thank you very much. I approve, uh, I mean, I appreciate your favorable consideration of the Chamber's position. Thank you. And we do have time if anybody else would like to come forward.
to speak against this request. Anyone else wishing to come forward? And just for the record, please state your name and your address for the record, please, sir. I'm Michael Lee, 4289 Spring Branch Circle, Mount Osta. Appreciate the opportunity to, to address you tonight. I also join Ron in thanking you for your hard work, uh, all the hard work of the staff in getting to this point. I'm not going to reiterate the comments of Ron because on, on behalf of South Georgia Military Affairs Council, we have a very similar position. As you know, South Georgia Military Affairs Council not only represents Lowndes County and working for the preservation um, of Moody Air Force Base in our community, but also a four county area around the. I represent Lowndes County as a co chair on the South Georgia Military Affairs Council. We also oppose items one and two, uh, as well as some items in number four. Uh, the only difference would be re regarding item number five, and that simply is that there is a process in place already. We would encourage to leave that process in place. Um, we would fully support the negation of a fee or the, the reduction of a fee um, for someone who lost a home, but um, this position is just a little more conservative and allows for review if something um, were to happen within, within the MAC. That would be the only difference in our opinion. And again, thank you for the opportunity to address you tonight. Any questions for Mr. Lee? From commissioners, any questions at all? Thank you, sir. Thank you. <clears throat> Believe it or not, we still have another minute to see anybody else wishing to come forward to speak against this request. Anyone else wishing to speak against this request? There be none. Commissioners, do we need to have the communication between ourselves and conversation between ourselves on these items. Yes. <coughs> Mr. Glad. I actually I should have asked my questions earlier, but I have a, just a couple of clarifications from Jason. Mm -hmm. um, amendment number four and number eleven, they seem to share some of the sections. So specifically number eleven refers to section five zero four zero seven. That also shows up in Amendment Number Four. <clears throat> uh, section in Amendment Number Four, Section Four Zero Two Zero Four, is also in Amendment Number One. Mm -hmm. uh, if I could, could I just go through some of my series of questions based on each one of these groupings? Is that okay? Yes, ma'am. Um, in amendment number four, section 40706, it references MAZ residential. I wasn't sure, was that, is that a specific zoning district or what does that, is, does that have a specific definition somewhere? Uh, no ma'am, there are couple of places in the MAZs because they're mixed use zoning districts where we have to differentiate between a residential or a non-residential use. And so for example in uh, setbacks we try to separate the two because obviously residential setbacks are different than a non-residential setback. So no it, it's currently not defined but the reason why we separate it out is because we believed when you have one zoning district that does have so many uses the different standards are appropriate for those Residential or non-residential uses. Okay. Uh, section five zero two zero eight. I did not see any changes in that section. When I compared it against the existing documents, so it's section five zero two zero eight. Mm -hmm. I was not sure. This is a section about animal foster homes. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the changes are in there and why it's grouped under MAZ. Okay. That's on page eight of the amendments that you have. Mm -hmm. That could have been where staff had some discussion about potentially changing those, but we decided to leave those alone. Okay. Um, but we've listed them, you know, just in that. But I'm, I have the same copies that you do, and I don't show changes in those either. So we did pull those out at one point, 
probably because it had to do with the MAZ, but we didn't propose any changes. Okay. So is section 40204, is that part of 104? That's, that references uh, density. Let's look at it. And section 40204 is on page 4, 5, and 4, 6. Um, that is the, those two pages on 4, 5, and 4, 6, that one section is the main, some of the main regulations in the MAZ. Mm -hmm. So I think it depends on which one, um, which particular regulation is there. The density sections are actually at the bottom of the page in item um, B, listed at the bottom, and C on the top of the next page. Those are the B and C, Jason? B and C. Those are the... The bottom of 4, 5, B, and the top of 4, 6, and C, those are the two sections that I would consider are density related. So since this item appears in both grouping, mm -hmm. it needs to be decided which mm -hmm. items should be and which one of the two, because if, let's say, mm -hmm. I don't know how we're going to vote on this, this is going to be item by item, grouping by grouping, mm -hmm. which I think that ought to be the way for us to approach this. In that case, if we say, if we recommend denial for number one, mm -hmm. that would automatically mean that number four needs to be denied because it cross-references similar sections. I understand. Yes, ma'am, and I, I tried to call out, like, the density, if you look at the way I listed them out, I list, you know, 40204 C1B and C1C as <coughs> density. I think some of the concerns that the chamber lifted up when they just list the whole section there is I just don't think for those changes they want any of those other minor changes to be made. But I follow you, you're right. I mean, that one section, because it contains so many, I mean, that's the section the noise amendments are in, that's a section we list out, you know, um, what uses are not allowed in certain areas. I mean, so there's a lot in 40204. I agree. It could be very, um, you know, having to parcel that out. You could, you could go to a finer grain and mm -hmm. list those out. Okay. Um, I'm going to move to uh, I, grouping number seven, mm -hmm. which is uh, section four zero two zero three. I was curious why, why didn't you stay with uh, item number two mm -hmm. that referenced referenced back to the table mm -hmm. where the non um, and the uses were indicated with an asterisk in the table, just like it's done for an MAC. Mm -hmm. Why the change? Staff found there was confusion about which uses were applicable to the Valdosta overlay and which uses were applicable to the Moody over the Moody regulations. And so, if you look in Chapter Two, that symbol that we use to denote those is actually the same asterisk. And so from a staff standpoint, we knew which ones apply to the MAZs and which ones apply to the airport. But if you had someone looking at that who maybe didn't have that knowledge, that would be confusing and difficult. So our solution was to separate them out and make it very clear so right which now, ones are apply right which now, one. The way the table is organized, mm -hmm. the asterisk doesn't mean it's for both MAZ and Valdosta overlay, the airport overlay. It, there's no distinction. That's right. Two. That's right. There's. We came from um, a former chapter two ago. We had different indications. When we made them all one indication, we realized that that was confusing, and we needed to actually separate that out because the uses that are restricted in the airport are are very um, are much closer to the runway at the airport than they are in the MAZ, mm -hmm. and so there's more restrictions on the ones that we have at the airport because they're closer to the runways. Whereas the MAZ goes out for thousands of feet. And so we realized that, okay, those areas need to be treated differently because they are different. And so we tried to do that. That was our solution to try to do that, is to eliminate the confusion there with the same symbol and separate those out to be very specific about which ones apply to the airport, which ones apply to the, to the Air Force Base. Okay, fair enough. Is the Airport Authority agreement with? Yes, ma'am. We, we've shared these um, amendments with the executive director. Got you know, no objection or positive comments from him, and so I don't have any present or anything to present from his standpoint that was a 
a concern for their particular sections. So going to back to grouping number 11, like where I mentioned that section 50407 was also a section in amendment number 4. Mm -hmm. uh, I would think that that section really is number 11, not number 4. It should not be included in grouping number 4. And what, sec what section was that? <clears throat> section 50407. It actually starts on page 8. Um, I believe why we listed it in both is because some of the changes apply to MAZ areas and some of the changes apply to PD areas. And so we listed them in both. I mean, we, were, we were trying to be sensitive to the fact that it had, if it touched the MAZ, we tried to list it with the MAZ sections. So I think that's maybe why we double listed it is because it had to do with some MAZ changes and some non-MAZ changes. But it's the same issue. So if I'm inclined to, to deny mm -hmm. number four, that's going to affect number 11. So it needs to be yes. decided where that item goes. I agree. You could, you know, I, I haven't heard any opposition to the signage changes, mm -hmm. but you're right. I mean, if you deny one, it could affect how the other is done. Mm -hmm. So how do we go about number 11 for tonight's sake, for tonight's, are, is this, are we going to expect revisions to this? Um, I mean, for me, if you, the only item that I've heard of that really breaks down to a very fine grain further than what we have now in the 14 amendments is item number four, that MAZ other where we kind of, you know, that's just where we put the other amendments that didn't get a lot of comment or opposition. And the chamber has expressed concern on that section 40204, mm -hmm. but on all the other sections, they they're not they don't have an objection, and neither does staff. Staff was recommending for approval. And so, if you if you want to go that far, you could separate out number four with a more specific or specialized motion to try to address where the concerns are. In well, the rest of the section. Let's go back. Let's go back to item number four, mm -hmm. uh, section 5050. Three, mm -hmm. which is page nine mm -hmm. of the document. Uh, this addresses telecommunication towers. Yes, ma'am. Um, and I brought up that up before, and I still don't know if telecommunication towers interfere or impact aircraft communication. So I don't know if where telecommunication towers ought to be sparked. I mean, I, I looked through the the study that was provided mm -hmm. for the installation to handle this zone study, I went back to that, and um, it doesn't specifically talk, use the word telecommunication towers, but it does bring up the issue of communication towers sure. impacting aircraft communications. <coughs> so I feel that this further research should be done to address that item. It's well, not just a matter of height. Mm. I think that when we get comments from Moody, the dominant concern about the towers is height and location because of where the planes fly, if, if they are flying in a path or if they're going to have to modify their flight patterns around those towers. So I, you know, I believe those changes are really um, worth considering because what it does is it formalizes our process because right now, our communications with Moody dealing with the airport and towers, and we do get tower requests, uh, is not as formal. And this puts a definite timeline on a response and a response in writing, which helps both the county, the applicant, and the base. Um, but I do, I mean, we, we have done okay so far. Certainly there have been some towers that have tried to challenge this. Um, but ultimately, I think those regulations in there I understand the questions about height, especially as, you know, Section A, we've had some discussion about whether or not to raise that ceiling and keep it the same. But certainly procedurally, um, those procedural recommendations are something that started with that JLUS doc, or the JLUS and the ACUS documents. So I think those procedurally are more important than I think the debate about what height we should stick to. Okay. Um, so I'm going to 
So to me, if I had to just pick one of those, I would pick the procedures because I think those have been tested and vetted and um, not only with the airport but with Moody. And I think that's going to be an improvement. Well, it might be that under that A paragraph, you could also reference section 50504C, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. which addresses the procedures okay. for the communication facilities and powers would be part of that where communication has to be established with the county manager and so forth. Yes. So. I agree. That could You could break that down, and really that section is two main parts. One that's got some debate and discussion, and the other one that I think has a, a pretty good amount of support. The procedures has the support. The debate and discussion is about the height, that section A. I agree. I sent some maps that showed those smaller maps, uh, the smaller lots, Commissioner. Um, I sent it in previous packets. It was inadvertent that I did not send it here, but that, that should have been included. I mean, I meant number 15, sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, ma'am. I mean, that. I don't, I don't see it in this current packet. I know it's been sent in other packets, but that draft map, yes, ma'am, that, that would be a part of, a part of the packet. You were just missing that, Mr. Larry? Yes. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I sent it out. I don't think I included the draft map with with this particular packet. Yeah. Don't know of any substantial changes to it, but well, certainly... I wanted to see what the changes are. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. Sure. If you, if, you had any, if you have a previous packet, your October packet had a copy of that map, I just don't think the November packet does. Any other discussion between the commissioners or any additional questions to the staff from anyone? So we've heard for the, the fours and the and the knots. We've had a discussion amongst ourselves. And I believe I'd like for us to consider some motions at this time and they can be presented in the multiple ways and I would just like for uh, one of the commissioners at this time to set forth some motions. Um, Mr. Chairman, I, I would move that we recommend to the county commission uh, for the approval using the groupings that Jason has put together for us. We recommend approval of numbers 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14 and all of the fourth grouping except for sections 4.0204, 5.0208, and 5.0404. And just by way of explanation, the, la the last of those two, 5.0208 and 5.0404, I think have no changes or were mistakenly included in the group. And just for clarification, Mr. Paulson, 3, 6, 7, 9, 10, eight. 11, eight. 8, excuse me, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and with some changes to 4, which you just outlined. All of number 4 except 4.0204, 5.0208, and 5.0404. And your motion is to? Recommend approval to the county commission. So we have a motion for recommended approval <coughs> on the items that the <coughs> commission person has laid out. Mr. Chairman, can you clarify the number four? Number four, he wants to exclude, make sure I'm right, Mr. Person, 5.02.08, 5.0302, 5.0404, 5.0404, and 5.0404. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to recommend approval. I'm recommending approval of all of number four mm -hmm. except for three sections. 4.0204, okay. 5.0208, right. and 5.0404. <coughs> yeah. 
5.0404. So all of those except those three can okay. be recommended for approval. Mr. Glavin, do you get that? I'm looking to see 504. Yes. I know it's not by rules of order, but I could possibly help you with that. 5.0404 was mistakenly put in adjacent materials. I think it was meant to be 5.0504. That's what it said. But it has been listed all along as 5.0404. I think that's, I think that's correct. There's a misprint on that. So 5.4 is what I was looking at. Okay. Well, that's what it says on here. Yes. But it should be 5.0404. Yes. Did you read it, Commissioner Glavin? <laughs> I did find that typo today. Okay. Just by way of explanation, I, I, I want to say to, to the staff and to the commission and chamber and everybody who's working on this, uh, this is a, as you know, it's somewhat of a complete reversal for me because I was pretty much against all of this at the start. But after spending about four hours delving through it and going through it line by line, I, I think we've actually come to a place where the MAZ is strengthened in several places. Um, and, and my next motion, I'll, I'll tell you why I'm going there too. But, uh, okay. So we have a motion, we have a second, we have any more discussion? Good with that? At this time, I'll put it to a vote. All wish to speak in favor of this request, please signify by raising your right hand. It is unanimous, 8-0 on that request. Commissioner Folsom? My next one is I would, I would uh, move that we recommend uh, to the County Commission that we deny uh, groupings one, two, five, and section the changes to section 4.0204 out of grouping four and, and by virtue of our last motion um, the, there were no changes to 50208 and 5104 but we were recommended mm -hmm. not okay. well. right. I'll second that. So we have a motion for denial we have a second any discussion on the motion for Commissioner Bolson oh, oh. Yeah. Commissioner Raker Oh, oh, you're talking about denying uh, the uh, number two in its entirety? Yes. And that would revert it back to its original language. Its original language, if I understood that, had no noise. It, it did have it, noise. It's not enforced. It did have noise attenuation standards, which are not enforced currently. Right. And my reasoning for that is, is as we sort of discussed in the work session is that we would take some more time to maybe find something that can be important so that, could be a that maintains the, the strength of the MAZ and protects, you know, protects the encroachment on maybe sort of the policy issues we outlined the other night. I remember the discussion that this didn't go if we come to an agreement that we were going to do some more work on that because I don't want to go back to something where we got nothing. And I will also say in, in favor of this motion that, that number five I've, I've added in there because I, I think it, you know, and Jason pointed this out in some of his commentary, it actually weakens the county's ability to um, to get housing out of an area that, that the county has a policy matter doesn't want it to be the changes. With. So I, that's the reason I'm sort of recommending now number five as well. Well, I would, I personally am against Mr. Rick, are you clear on, on item two now about revert back to the end? Well, we're going to so we're going to have some more work on that. We'll have some more work on that, yes, sir. So we have a motion, we have a second. Any more discussion? If not, I will 
take a, a show of hands, all wish to speak in favor of this. You will raise your right hand signifying you're in favor. It's unanimous again. Eight zero, Mr. Coleman. Commissioner Willis, say I'm apologize. So Jason, does that temporarily, if we will, put this text amendment to bed? It certainly is going to make it on its way to the county commission where I know there's going to be some follow-up discussion uh, on that time. But certainly I thank you for your time and your consideration and your efforts. Like I said, I don't I don't know of another amendment that got more of everyone's time and effort and communication on this, so I very much appreciate that. But we will make those changes and, and get it to the county commissioners for their consideration. I'll also echo, if you will, the presenters from Moody about all the hard work between yourself and them. I appreciate everybody's hard work. And getting at this point and uh Great. thanks much yes sir okay let's move along <laughs>